Welcome everybody to another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing. If you're new to the channel, my name is David and I fish inshore and offshore here in the panhandle of Florida. If you like that kind of video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It'd really help me out to continue to create these videos. So today we're out with my buddy Landrum and we're gonna be targeting some grouper, red snapper. Those are both in season as well as trigger fish or really whatever bites. So what we're gonna start out with this morning, we're on a reef only about 10 or 15 miles out. And uh, we picked up some grouper on this reef before. So we're gonna start with that and see if we can't pull one up. All right, so what I'm gonna start out with is this 100 gram vertical jig. This is what I got uh, that grouper on a couple of videos ago um, at the same reef, in fact. You got him? Got a grouper. All right, got a grouper. Now he's gonna be a little small. Yeah. They've gotta be 24 inches, but that's the target species for sure. Little gag grouper. Now what you catch them on? Uh, just frozen dead bait. We got two options over here. Landrum with the frozen dead bait. I've got the jig over here. That's a good sign. Get a grouper in the boat so early in the morning. Another one? All right, so Landrum got the hot hand over here. He's giving him a little work, but man, another grouper. A little bigger, don't you think? Oh, yeah. All right. Not much. Not much. Well, hopefully, whether they're smaller when there's bigger ones. Well, let's keep trying this jig over here. Oh, I got him. I got him. Got him, got him, got him. Feels maybe kind of like the same size fish as Landrum was getting, but let's see. He's definitely not a keeper. Oh, red snapper, but not a keeper red snapper either. But nonetheless, we've got our two target species already. Now we're not deep enough to worry about bear trauma, so he's gonna go down just fine. There he goes. All right, that may be a keeper trigger. Yeah. About an eighth of an inch too short. But nonetheless, we've caught our three target species within the first, I don't know, 15 minutes of fishing here. All right, since we're starting to catch some fish, we went ahead and threw our chum back out there. And we're gonna go ahead and um, throw some free lines out as well to maybe pull up a bigger red snapper. So what we like to do for this is we take this cigar minnow and we're gonna butterfly it which basically you're just gonna kind of fillet it backwards to get that backbone out. Then you just can discard this tail part. That's gonna give you just a little more scent as that sits there and soaks out there. Then I'm gonna take this eight alt circle hook and I'm gonna hook it up under the chin and come out the top hard part of the head. And that's gonna give you a secure hold on this fish as it sits out there. All right, and just toss it out. I'm gonna put a slight drag on it but not too tight so that way if a bigger fish co comes we won't accidentally lose our ride all right got something on a free line here man seems like a good one hopefully it's our big keeper snapper and he had a good run there right off the bat here he comes all right let's go and get the net oh man Give me that. I'm gonna... All right, that's one way to get him in. It's a king. It's not a not a Spanish. There he goes. We got another one. I probably our kingfish again. Let's see here. This was on the free line on those cigar minnows that were just kind of soaking out there. We're sitting here fooling around with chicken rigs and things and getting all kind of bites on these flat lines. Let's see what it is. Man, he's pulling up more like a snapper. All right. That's going to be our keeper right there. Hopefully, 16 inches. Not the biggest one out there, but I think he's one for the box. He's a little more than 18. That's a nice red snapper for the box. Got something on the flat line again. I don't know what it is. If it's a kingfish or another snapper. Hopefully it's another snapper. It's kind of going down more like a snapper. 
Oh man, here we go. Got some weight to us now. No, oh, don't get in the engine. It is a kingfish. Kingfish. I got him. You got him. All right, let's get this king back. He's a nice one, but we're not keeping kings today. Oh, you got him? All right, what do we got over here? We got, yeah, we got the dolphins around, so let me get them up. Get them up. Trigger. Yeah, too little. All right, I got him. He's not a monster or anything. Let's see if I can get him up for the dolphins. Get over. Man, little tiny snap. Oh, it's vermilion. All right, so we got a little vermilion. He's not the biggest one out there, but he's legal. So we're gonna go ahead and get him in the box. Let's see what we got, another vermilion maybe. Oh, some Tom Tates, here you go. Here's your grouper candy. All right, let's get the live well going. Now, these are Tom Tate's ruby red lips. These are going to go in a live well, and we'll get those on a bigger hook out there for a big snapper or a big grouper. Hopefully a big grouper. Got a little vermilion over here. Another little vermilion. Landrum got something that broke him off over here on that Tom Tate that we just caught. So let's get kind of some bigger rigs up. I'm going to keep working on getting vermilions and maybe some more Tom Tate's. And we'll see if we can't get some Tom Tates out there for some, some grouper. Yeah, look, I gotta show you this. Look at this bottom machine. That's what we're right on top of the reef. We got all kind of marks here. So this is looking like a good spot. Hopefully we can pick some of those up. Oh, oh man, here's a big one. Oh yeah, a little bit bigger. Oh man, oh, I think the dolphin got him. Oh shoot. Or something else did. Oh man. I don't know how this is gonna end because this is 40 pound test. Uh, either the dolphin got him or something else got him on the way up. I think this is a fish, not a dolphin. <sighs> oh, I'm making some headway. Yeah, I can feel a fish, man. I don't know what it did, but I feel like. I have a chance. Oh. Yep, this isn't, I don't think this is the dolphin. Oh. Yeah. I thought I had a chance. It lasted a lot longer than I thought it was going to on this 40 pound chicken rig. I don't see the dolphin anymore, so hopefully we're not having to worry about him. Oh man, nice. Look at this vermilion. Dang, that's a good vermilion right there. Well, we can't beat the grouper. We'll join them and get what they're getting, vermilions. You got them? All right, we got a double hookup. Oh man. What do we got? Gives a little bit of a pull. Oh, I got a lane snapper. All right. I love these lanes. These lanes to me, some of the most beautiful fish out here. Color and pattern. Yeah, just the, get them in the sun. Just the, that yellow and the orange and the red. Got that yellow above the eyes. Well, this is a lane snapper. He doesn't have to be, but I think 10 inches or so, but he's 13 plus. So he's gonna, oh, yeah. It's gonna go in the, where? The box. Well, you know it's snappers down there, vermilion or lane or whatever, because you get more than one chance as opposed to triggers. The triggers you get zero chances sometimes before you are squidless. Oh, there he is. There he is. Whoa. And I don't think this is a Tom Tate. 
This may be this red snapper you're talking about, but I'm not sure he would be a keeper. Maybe it's a nice vermilion. Oh, uh, mangroves. Oh, wow. Mangroves. Man, I have been a long time on this boat, yeah. Shoot you. I've been hunting these guys. Or not really hunting them down, but anxious to get one. Yep. Heck yeah. There's one. All right. All right, check them out, y'all. Little mangrove snapper. First one on this Grady. I've had this a little less than a year, but I've been wanting to get one of these guys for quite some time. But let's get him in the box with those other snappers. All right. You got him? Oh, oh, I got him too. Oh, man. Another good one. What you got, Landrum? Well, we got another double hook up here. I think we both got decent fish here. Oh, Slams have got a tom tape. Let's see what fish number two is. Oh man, another lane snapper. I slapped myself in the face with it. Check him out. All right, little lane snapper again. I don't know what number fish this makes, but let's go ahead and get him in the box. Nice looking fish. We don't lose them. All right, Landrum, what you got? Big yeah. That's the chicken rig you're doing? Yeah. All right. We've got one trigger in the box. We can get one more. It's one per person. Show us that red snapper. Look at that red snapper. Keeper number two. We can keep two per person. So we've got one in the box already. We can get two more so we get some more keepers. This is our third reef that we've been to today, or third or fourth. Well, it's our fourth reef, probably our last one for the day, but you know, it's turning out to be pretty good. We've basically caught fish all day long, you know, at all different reefs. We haven't really had that those lulls and peaks and valleys like we do sometimes, but um, shaping out to be a really good day, so let's kind of keep at it. Oh, you got him? Maybe it's our red snapper. Oh hey. man, check it out. Look at this double right here, y'all. Double bee liners. Man, you can't say they're not biting. Nope. Yeah, good call on this reef. Oh, oh man. Oh, I think he's just a bee liner. Man. These bee liners, they got a good pull to them for their size, for sure. I'm thinking we might want to count yeah, we're next to next fish or two. Now we got a challenge. Good old chicken rig with squid. I caught more fish than chicken rig. I know. Very effective. Just simple fishing. All right, got him. Oh man. Oh man. This may be a decent one over here. Oh shoot, I didn't pull them in fast enough. Dolphin or something, but I felt, I felt something grab it and then the mouth, the fish's mouth tear. I totally felt it. Just, yeah. All right, well. Way out there? Right there. Right by that seagull. Threw it up in his mouth and ate it. Okay. Okay. Got him. Oh. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Well, the fish flew out of the water. All right. 
Four more. Okay, I got them too, so. Did you get it? Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Just a good fish, I think. He hasn't gotten it yet. Mm. <sighs> Two of them. Limit. All right. Limit on vermilion snappers with a dolphin chasing them. Man, that was some excitement right there. Even though they're such little fish. Having a dolphin coming over and having to get them up before dolphin gets his own meal all right we're gonna go ahead and call it a day we had a great day today we caught a lot of fish all those vermilions those lanes trigger fish even grabbing that mangrove snapper was fantastic all of those are great eating fish and we're gonna get home and clean those up so if you enjoy this video where I give you on the water action as well as show you my tips and techniques for finding and catch fish please hit that subscribe button it really helps me out to, to continue to create these videos. So until next time, I hope to see you on another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing. All right, so we're back at the ramp. And these ladies with FWC are gonna do some samples of some of our fish, which is kind of cool. And tell, tell us what you're doing again. So um, I'm just getting some measurements, seeing if it's male or female, and then collecting the otolith for aging. Um, that'll be cool, we'll find out how old they are. Well, they have to, we have to send it off to the lab and then they look at it underneath the microscope and then the otolith has rings just like a tree, so you can just, um, they'll count the rings and then they can figure out how old it is. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Male. Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Uh, that is the ear bone or the otolith. Huh. So yeah, they'll just... You found that little thing inside there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the vermilion snapper are pretty small ones. Wow. 1.42. Hmm. Might have been bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's about three pounds. That uh, was in oh. uh, kilograms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> got, got, glad we got that on video. So <laughs> what it looked like. <laughs> uh, female, hydrated. Wow, look at that one. Wow. Yeah, these cool. ones are much easier to get out. <laughs> Doing these kind of things helps kind of determine seasons and lengths and, and limits and things, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. What people are bringing in and like how fast they're growing and things like that. Yeah. Okay, thank you for letting me. Yeah, well, thanks for, for yeah. giving us some information. Yeah. <laughs>